Hello, we're back. I'm sorry for that for that sun and um, we thought that it stopped recording and we stopped prematurely. This is a false alarm though. It was working great. It was. Um here's the cave we just made. And now we have red choo choos harder than the greens. Well actually are they I don't know. One, two hit two hits. Two hits? That's about the same as the green ones. Yeah. Maybe they just made it fit the color scheme. Because <laughs> the they're made of lava. Yeah, well, I guess. Or the choo choo. So here, okay, here, we're gonna have to use our last bomb. Hope there's more bombs on our way that, uh... Thank goodness you didn't use that one in that one cave, right? Yeah. Because, um, cause now you can access this, so you need to access this first. And here's our first rock point. Shrinky dink time! You can't skip this one because it's a, um... Why? Because it's a rock. It's the first one we've seen of the rock. Oh, okay, okay. And see, oh, that's different. Ooh, okay, that's gonna hurt. No mushrooms. They're the green crystals. So this perfectly normal-looking stone was another portal to the Minish World. There may be other rock portals. Keep your eyes peeled, boy. Okay. And so to get in here, what we get in here is, well, besides some dash books. Yeah. They all must die. They're bugs, don't worry. There's about another billion of them to take their place, you know? Yeah, and something's gonna eat their remains. So the circle of life will, will continue. Oh, there you go. That was worth that. I bombs, Charm, in your bomb bag. You know, I was really starting to wonder why you were killing the bugs instead of just going past them. Question answered. Well, I, I like to kill them, actually. It's just so they don't bite me in the butt. I'm worried. What? About my son. This is how video. This is what video games teach people. You got Mount Cranahell mineral water on your bottle. It's piping hot. Video games teach you how to think rationally, and how to plan. They do. I'm a big supporter of video games in general. Actually, being helpful most of the time. Now you can still take away uh, GTA as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, let me start with that. If you don't want to go through the mountain again, ah. What's that green stuff in there? I'm sorry. Um, that was a mineral water. Okay. If you just follow this, let's follow what we're doing, you'll be probably fine. Unless we mess up. Do a little housekeeping there or what? Um, it, it, well, it just clears it out so you don't run into it and get I got you. hurt. Because you actually get hurt by this stuff. Okay, it's not like that stuff it just slows you down. It's not like the spores, yeah. But you don't see anywhere else in the game. Oh, I, I love this. This is so satisfying to the uh, um, generic enemy bats. <laughs> yeah, because those are something that can sometimes do more damage than you feel like they ought to. And see, this was this <laughs> mushroom was also changed to fit the color scheme. The mushroom was? Yeah, it used to be blue, remember? Oh. I did not even pay attention to that detail. That's the amazing thing about some of these games, is the level of detail. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are those called? I don't know. Hearthead Dasher Smashers? Uh, he's supposed to say use your gust jar first. He's not supposed to see this. <gasps> Once you've pulled off their iron masks, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. Yeah, but they're trouble now. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good, huh? Give the boy a heart. <laughs> well, are you trying to dash me? Not anymore. Oh, I heard, heard a boopy. Very easy way. I mean, if you know what you're doing, they're not hard to dispatch. There's a red in Ah, hmm. oh, of course. How silly of me. Hey, boy. Jump into that whirlwind over there for me. What? <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder. Is this a grenade or a channel? It's terrible! It's a whirlwind! Just jump into it. Ah. Well, let's not worry about what the consequences might actually be. Whee! Parachute! So there we go. So you don't need a leaf in this one. Um... What are some other ways that you float and fly? Oh, uh, as in DQ. Okay. I say DQ. I don't care you say. I, I don't know. I love... Anyway. Is DQ DQ either way? Anyway. Uh, when he's that, he has his little propeller of flowers. But this is the only time I am aware of him flying by hat. Yeah. It's also very similar to in Wind Waker where he uses the, the, um, 
picks up leaf. Yeah. So we see in, in this, you see you kill those little tiny flies. And see, this is why you needed the mineral mineral water for. Oh, tiny cracks. Yes, as a menace, you can fall, climb through tiny cracks. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so do a little housekeeping. Okay, turn around. Using that GameCube controller. Huh? Yeah. I actually like the GameCube controller, generally speaking. So there's a few things we can do before we get the seed. I'll do the first one here. Nice little minish here at home. Say something. Can I be his voice? Water is life for critter beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them. But the green beans like metacrinal mineral water. Metacrinal mineral water can be found only in a spring here on Mount Cornell. Well, really the spring is closer to the base of Mount Cornell. And here you get a kinstone. Alright. Your first real kinstone that you don't have, you, you weren't given by the hurdy hurdy man. Yeah, and you took this without peer pressure either. Yeah, but yeah, that always seems interesting how you can steal things from these guys' houses and they they're just like Nobody minds. Yeah. I'm gonna try that so I'm just gonna go to someone's house and just take something. You'll go to jail. And I'm gonna hold it over my head. <laughs> so here, this is another secret little area that um you don't have to go to. Hey, 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 watch out. Okay. Uh, oh! Let's play curse! Let's play curse! <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful here and don't get hit. Like I did. That was profound. But luckily I have five hearts. So you say if I don't get hit, I will do better than if I do get hit? Ow. Yeah, watch out. These are spikes. Please be something useful. What? Well, you know, it'll be useful at some point. Well, I guess so. Maybe it's a rare kinstone or something. Yeah. I don't know. <coughs> I apologize. For what? For coughing? Yes. Well, it is allergy season, but it's annoying, so don't do it. Here, I'm just using the D-pad now. I'm tired of using this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm pressing down and it was going to the left. Hey, by the way, we're really excited about the four views that we've got so far on, on our, our last play here, so keep it up. Spread the good word. What's it say? Uh, don't hate, rate. Uh, don't imbibe, subscribe. See, here's the thing about this place is that um, if you're not careful, it will kill you pretty quickly. Because it's got lots of things that if you're just careless, it'll kill you pretty You know, just yeah. take away bits of your health and eventually they'll add up. Now, have you died at all yet? No. And see, look, now, even though you're very tiny, you can lift this gigantic bean. Much like the common ant. Yes. Maybe that's what they were going for. I think they were. It can lift many times its own body weight, right? Yeah. Yes. The game art in this game is just beautiful. The what is? The game art. Oh, the art, yes. See, now you can put that in there. Now now we can return to normal size. So part one is accomplished. Do you have the Mount Cornell water? Yes, that's... That's what you did already. Sorry. It's alright. I'm new here. Why don't you bomb it? Bomb it. Can't bomb the bean. I'm a bean bomber. You just told me that just so you could say that funny line, right? <laughs> Was it funny? No. <laughs> Crap. An attempt at being funny. Yeah. Hey, if you don't try, then you then you never fail. Wait. <laughs> okay, I should stop bothering with all this stuff, this spiky stuff. Oh, else this will take forever. Okay, here's our first introduction to the rock beetles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which are annoying since you can't break rocks. But you can gust them. And then, oh, well, take care of one of them. Yeah, they can get very annoying because you don't see them coming, you know? Mm -hmm. Darn, come on. Yeah, they're only... Forget you, I don't have time for you. Yeah. They're only bad when, uh, they, uh... Wow, how did I get a hundred rupees already? Is that your max? For now? Yeah. Now, for now, oh, that looks like a good place to bomb. I was looking at the mushroom. I didn't even see the bomb. I was thinking, can you, like, like dust that mushroom thing over to you? And then... But that's on the, another level. Oh. I did, yeah. Ah! Oh. Tragic mistake. That could be costly. Oh! Well. But it killed the monster, but it didn't kill the pot somehow. 
I was intending to hit it like this. All that for you just wasted a bomb on two bombs for a kinstone piece. No, there's a staircase up here. With, uh, okay, oh, here. whoa, whoa, whoa! Those are unique. They're like I believe they're called spiky choo choos. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen those uh, before or after. You got enough bombs to do what you need? So what they do is they get near you and they get spiky. When you hit them, or just by being near them? Just by being near them. What you want to do is break these cracked, cracked rocks and boom, boom. Yeah, also and get you get more bombs for it. So there you go. Take that, Spiky Blob. You know, I almost named you Spiky Blob instead of me. A bulbous pointy form. <laughs> What I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, my son, he's bulbous and pointy. Oh, that's gross. Is that that's from a song by Jonathan Col Colton? Is that right? Yeah, let me see what this is. Alright. Crenel Mines, Crenel Wall. You gonna go rock climbing? Well, I can't go rock climbing because supposedly I need a rock climbing permit in the shape of a ring. Really? That's just why we're gonna have to buy it from a minish guy. Uh, uh, I'm a business scrub. The yeah, business scrubs are pretty much important to the game because they'll give you certain items. Yeah, these um, the enemies are everywhere. Oh, there, there's a new one. Well, well, we've actually seen him before. I just didn't comment about him. He's, it's a pea hat. It's actually it's actually been around since the first game. That's right. We made several of them. Not, not very hard. What you really have to do is just use your gust yard and you'll be fine. Probably every game. Good, good chance of saying it's in every game. Uh, a few. I mean, not on entire. I, maybe not Zelda 2. Maybe not some of those Oracle of Seasons and stuff. Anyway, oh. Shield me. You know, these are business shrubs. They don't do a lot to try to get business. See, th this fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain! So, what do you say, huh? Sure. Yeah, and since you have to have it, go ahead and make the deal, right? You got the permit in the shape of a ring. Now you can easily climb cliffs that you could not scale before. How this ring makes you climb walls, I don't know. That is a good point. I mean, what does it do? Like, give you, like, sticky fingers or something? Look at that, though. Boy, you're climbing. They're climbing. And, um, we're still far away from the end. It's just, just my beginning, uh, just going to the base of this reminded me how long a trek it is just to get on top of here. Oh, we can't do this yet. Foreshadow. Yeah, foreshadow. I won't say why. No. So that was entirely pointless, what we just did. Did you say there were four shadows? I said foreshadowed. You just foreshadowed yourself. Great. <laughs> I am kind of proud of that one. Uh oh. Don't worry. There's a place to go. There's always an answer. If you ever play these without even uh, any kind of guide, you just gotta keep at it. Don't get discouraged. Like us, we're going doing this without a guide. I used to have a guide, but now I don't have one, and I can practically do it by memory. Yeah, I, I remember I, I gave him that guide. And you remember how I, I gave it to you? Um, you made me navigate to it via compass. That's right. And uh, he did it. I gave him uh, uh, de uh, degrees and steps, uh, like they call it, orienteering. And he was able to um, find it ultimately in the trunk of my car. Uh, yeah, watch out, you're going to be climbing this huge cliff, cliff side to get higher up. And what does the sign say? Like, danger? Rocks? <laughs> or something? Don't! No bomb throwing. Another, another, another reverse psychology? Ah! Yeah, the, yeah, these rocks can hurt you, be careful. Yeah, and they have always been kind of a pain in the neck. <gasps> well, you don't need it a lot, but it's nice to know it's there, I guess. Huh. What? You gotta throw something in a bit, you. Sometimes things like that you gotta throw stuff in. <laughs> you know, what are you trying to Face do? Face explosive death, fairy. Is something gonna happen? No, you actually had to do that. Oh, really? Was it supposed to be the bomb or could it be anything? It had to be a bomb. Look at that, wow. Another spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? See, the thing you have to do for this is that. The blue bomb. You have to say neither. 
Because you want to be truthful to these fairies. It's good to be truthful in general, right? You are honest. I must report such an honest adventure with some of my power. Some of my power to destroy! You got a big bomb bag! Now you can carry more bombs! I can carry 30 bombs. May light shine on your quest. Well, that was a very encouraging visit. I think this is a good place to end it off. We're at 15 minutes now. Goodbye. Goodbye.